spooky scary skeletons and chivas down your spine. Ooh. It's Halloween time. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As I just said, it's almost Halloween time and I mean it's the beginning of October which means it's just Halloween season in general for me. Although for me and my roommate, Halloween season started in the middle of September. That's when we started to decorate our dorm. But point is with October and Halloween coming up is Spookathon is here. That's right, this is my Spookathon announcement video. First off, I want to start this with giving a huge thanks to Books and Lala because she is the one who has been running this. Uh, she used to do it with a couple other booktubers the past couple of years, but this year they are unavailable to do it. Um, so Books and Lala have, she is just doing it on her own now. So it's really hard to do a bookathon, readathon type thing um, all on your own, but she has continued to take up the challenge. So I really want to give a great shout out and thank you to her for continuing to do it because it will be my first year participating, although I've been looking forward to doing it for a very long time. So yeah, I just wanted to give a big thanks to her and I'm really 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 excited it's one of my favorite things about fall is Halloween and the cooling temperature and just the aesthetic the colors the sweaters everything. so now I'm gonna start with my TBR for this for those of you who don't know anything about Spookathon it is a week-long readathon that is in the middle to late October so that like as Halloween comes you can still have time to do a Halloween thing type things like going to haunted houses or going to parties or studying if you're still in school. <laughs> um, so this year it is from October 14 to 20 so that's about a week long um, and it's the week before Halloween a little more than uh, so it's a really just a great way to get into Halloween spirit by reading like spooky books and I am just so excited to share my list with you. She has prepared five reading challenges for this. Um, she mentioned that there might be uh, Instagram challenges, but you know, she's not really sure and that makes total sense. It's really low key this year, which is kind of nice. Um, so yeah, let's get into my TBR and I'll tell you what the challenges are. And of course, there will be a link to her announcement video in my description down below. Woohoo! Now let's get into it. So the first challenge is kind of the challenge of the whole Spookathon as a whole, and she does this every year, where challenge number one is read a thriller. I mean, it's Halloween. Whether you're doing Spookathon or not, reading a thriller is just what you do. So the book I have chosen to fulfill this challenge is like a loose thriller. It's a little more like, it's supposed to be a little more horror, but I don't really understand horror books and how they can't be like thriller like there aren't really jump scares or anything like that but anyway the book I have chosen to complete this one is actually Stalking Jack the Ripper right here from behind me by Carrie Monstacalo uh, I chose this one because I recently got it when I was at Barnes and Noble and I have a whole thing about that in the haul that I did a few weeks ago but anyway, I think this is a perfect one because it's also a historical fiction, which I don't normally read. And, I mean, it's Jack the Ripper. Classic, but it's also stalking Jack the Ripper. I don't know too much about this book because I don't like spoiling books for myself or other people. And even if you're just giving a synopsis, I feel like sometimes they can be too detailed. But the line on the back of the book is, I was the girl who loved the Ripper. Now let that sink in for a minute, yeah. So this is going to be a great Halloween book about murder and just, oh, just the Victorian era have such good murder books. So this is what I'm using to fulfill the first challenge and moving on. For the second challenge, challenge number two, it's read a book with red on the cover. And I had a couple different options with this and to be totally honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do because I have two options. I am thinking of doing, I'm thinking of doing Scythe by Neil Sch Schusterman, by Neil Schusterman, obviously has red on the cover, and as you can see, it's literally about death. This book is about a society 
in where everyone has figured out how to like cheat death and stay immortal but just because you figured out how to do it doesn't mean you should and so it's about like the reapers type characters i don't know what they're called yet because i haven't read it um who go around and when your time is up they will kill you so that you don't just live forever because some people really shouldn't live forever and so that's what they are all about and so yeah there's the red on the cloak as well as along sides so i'm debating on this one because i've been really wanting to read it and i feel like it's a really interesting book to read for halloween because it is about death it's not necessarily traditional halloween in terms of like monsters or vampires witches or pumpkins or anything but like it, it still counts like death murder still counts the other book that I'm debating on reading is actually Frankenstein. Smooth, I know. <laughs> it's Frankenstein because this is just a classic Halloween book. And I like this one because here's the red, of course. But it also has like a red-orangey like tint on the sprayed edges, um, which I think is really cool. It's a classic. It's a little shorter, so it's a little more likely that I'll be able to read in a week. Um... But yeah, I mean, we all know the story of Frankenstein. It's a classic. I actually haven't read it, but maybe this Halloween is the perfect time to read it for the first time. So I might go with this over the other one, but if I have time, I would like to read them both. If I am running low on time, then I'm just going to quick read this one. Moving on to the third challenge is read a book with something spooky in the title, and that could be open to interpretation. So, like, if you think something spooky, if you think witches, vampires, ghosts, you know, anything Halloween-related as spooky, and then if it has that in the title, then, you know, that's completely up to you. The book I have chosen to do is The Graveyard Book by uh, Neil Gaiman, and I chose that because I meant to read it a long time ago, but it's also a book I don't own, and it's I'm going to be reading it as an audiobook. I chose to read The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman and I'm actually going to listen to the audiobook version of it because I don't own it in print and I don't really know where libraries are yet on campus and off campus that would have this book. Plus I think I need to do at least one audiobook during this uh, because you know five books in a week like it's pretty doable but I also don't know what my homework load is going to look like during that time. Um, so I want to make sure that I keep up with school, and so audiobooks are a great thing for college students. I have a hold on the book, so hopefully the library will give it to me in time. It says I should have it in like, what was that, like two or three weeks? But we'll see. Hopefully they will. If not, then I don't actually know what I'm going to do. But you'll figure it out when I start videotaping the blogs and putting the vlog up, so. Anyway. Challenge number four is to read a book in a spooky setting. Again, this is very open to interpretation of what kind of setting is spooky for you versus, you know. And so for this challenge, I've chosen to read House of Salt and Sorrow because I feel like a house where sisters are constantly getting murdered, I mean, that's pretty spooky. To live in a house where people are dying, it doesn't have to be a mansion. It just has, there just has to be death, and it immediately becomes spooky to me. I also recently bought this book, and I was really excited, because I got a really great deal on it at Target. So, this to me has a spooky setting. I've also heard that this book is a very creepy book, and it's good for Halloween because it's creepy, not necessarily scary. Which I think is actually one of the best things about Halloween, is that it can be creepy as well as scary. So I think this is just going to get that other aspect and that other side of Halloween to it. For the last challenge, challenge number five, it's to read a book you wouldn't normally read. Now, first off, I just don't normally read mysteries, thriller, horror, anything like that in the genre just because I don't have, have a lot of friends that read them, so I don't really get recommendations, but also with mysteries, I feel like there can be very hit or miss. It's like, either I know who it is the entire time and it's frustrating because no one's figuring it out when it's super obvious and then I get annoyed at the book and I just refuse, or I have no idea, it's a bunch of twist endings and it's really great. I have a hard time finding those kinds of books. I always end up with the duds, which is really annoying. But, I mean, it's Halloween Spirit. I'm gonna get into it no matter what. And so the book I have chosen, you wouldn't normally read, is actually Murder on the Orient Express. 
I'm having all the fun with this whole reaching behind me thing. <laughs> is Murder on the Orient Express. This is a book I wouldn't normally read because it's a mystery. I don't normally read mysteries outside of October. Just like I don't watch horror movies except for during October or like in preparation for Halloween. Um, but it's another like classic which I like and I need to read more of. I wouldn't normally read this too much. I've been wanting to, but now I finally have a good excuse to read it. So, and again, it's murder, so it fits Halloween and everything spooky and creepy. So that is my TBR for the Spookathon challenge this October 14 through 20, hosted by Books and Lala, and I'm just super excited. If you guys are going to participate in it, let me know down below by commenting what your TBR is, if we're going to read any of the same books, or if you're going to read a whole new different set of books. Also, if you have any recommendations for me of any good mystery or good Halloween themed book or anything with a spooky title because if the graveyard book doesn't work out I'm gonna be very disappointed and kind of blood in the water um so I need I need backup choices for that and I'm just having a very hard time choosing one because it's like there's so many great options but at the same time I don't know a lot of them so it's like there's nothing which is completely ridiculous because I know that's not true which is why I'm asking for your help <laughs> If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so that you can actually see the vlog that I'll be taking throughout the Spookathon, and then you'll know when it's uploaded. Hopefully it'll be very soon after the week ends, but I'm just going to do a one week long vlog. Um, yeah, so yeah, please subscribe, thumbs up, comment below, tell me your favorite thing about Halloween, favorite Halloween book anything along those lines i would just really love to hear from you guys and i hope you have a happy spooky october beware of everything in life spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine